Luxury might be one of the least dynamic sectors out there, as it is rare to see a brand new brand that sweeps the entire industry out of nowhere. Instead, we usually witness the domination of the same brands over and over again, with little to no change in the sector. From Chanel to Louis Vuitton, there are a handful of well-known luxury brands that are desired by the majority of people and can only be consumed by a very selected group of individuals. Even though the exclusivity of these brands are being challenged by the influencer pandemic, no one can deny that these brands are still pretty expensive and hard to get for many people. Up until recently, Michael Kors was one of those brands that are regarded with the utmost respect, with people seeing it as on top of its luxury game. However, the brand has gone through a few changes over the past couple of years, and suddenly, it seems like Michael Kors has fallen off the site, with the majority of the customers no longer regarding it as a luxury brand. In this video, I will go through the rocky journey of Michael Kors as a luxury brand, and we'll see why the show is no longer a hit among customers. So without further ado, let's dive in. I'm not sure if Michael Kors needs an introduction, but to understand the brand's journey, I feel like it's important to know where it came from in the first place. Michael Kors is a globally recognized luxury fashion brand known for its accessories, clothing, and footwear. It was founded by American fashion designer Michael Kors in 1981. Kors design quickly gained recognition for their luxurious and sophisticated aesthetic, capturing the spirit of American sportswear with a modern twist. The brand made a name for itself through its now signature blend of casual elegance and jet set glamour. For the longest time, Michael Kors was known for its modern and sophisticated designs, blending timeless elegance with a contemporary aesthetic. The brand was characterized by its use of high quality materials, attention to detail, and the iconic MK logo. Over the years, Michael Kors has gained popularity and a strong presence in the fashion industry, becoming a desirable luxury brand worldwide. Well, at least this was the picture until we reached the 2010s. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Michael Kors continued to expand his brand, gaining popularity among fashion editors, celebrities, and style influencers. His designs became synonymous with effortless chic and timeless appeal. The brand's iconic MK logo, often featured on its handbags and accessories, became a recognizable symbol of luxury and status. In the early 2000s, Michael Kors experienced significant growth and success. The brand expanded its product offerings to include accessories, footwear, and fragrances, catering to a broader range of consumers. In 2004, the company went public and listed its shares on the New York Stock Exchange. The Michael Kors brand continued to expand globally, opening flagship stores in major cities around the world and establishing a strong presence in the luxury fashion market. The brand's popularity was further boosted by endorsements from celebrities and appearances on popular television shows. In 2011, Michael Kors launched its diffusion line, Michael Michael Kors, offering more accessible and affordable fashion options while maintaining the brand's signature style. This expansion into the affordable luxury segment contributed to the brand's widespread appeal and increased its market reach. On the one hand, it was a total blessing for the brand. On the other hand, it was a critical move that has likely to impact the brand's status as a luxury negatively. Of course, it's not fair to blame a single brand diffusion for an entire fall of a brand. In fact, there are several factors that have contributed to a perceived decline in momentum for the Michael Kors brand in recent years. 1. Brand Dilution It is clear that the brand's rapid expansion and popularity led to a widespread presence and accessibility. This, in turn, has diluted the brand's exclusivity and aspirational appeal, leading to a loss of perceived luxury. 2. Overexposure Similar to the first reason, Michael Kors became widely recognized and prevalent with its products frequently seen in the market. This saturation can lead to a sense of ubiquity and diminish the brand's perceived uniqueness. And who would want to invest in a not unique item, right? 3. Changing Consumer Preferences As we all know, fashion trends and consumer preferences are constantly evolving. In recent years, there has been a shift towards minimalistic and understated aesthetics, while Michael Kors designs are often associated with a more flashy and logo-centric style. This mismatch with prevailing trends may have impacted its appeal to certain consumer segments. In other words, Michael Kors could not fit into the rising trend of the old money aesthetic, which is a deadly mistake in today's day and age. 4. Discounting and Outlet Culture The brand's heavy reliance on outlet stores and frequent discounting practices have potentially eroded its premium image and created a perception of lower value. Consumers may feel less inclined to purchase full-price products when they're consistently available at discounted prices. After all, why pay more when you can have it for less? 
5. Increased Competition Despite the domination of certain luxury brands, the luxury fashion market is highly competitive, with new brands still emerging and established competitors vying for market share. The rise of other luxury brands and the growing influence of streetwear and athleisure trends have inevitably diverted attention and consumer preference away from Michael Kors. Now, as you can see, these are all developments that are big no's for any luxury brand. After all, what makes a brand luxurious is its quality, exclusivity, and prestige. Apart from this, if your brand does not have a long and respectable tradition, does not provide a unique experience to your customers, and people do not regard your items as if they have an aspirational value, then you have no place in the world of luxury. Besides, a well-calculated pricing strategy is key in preserving your status as a luxury, since you have to keep a balance of not being too accessible, but also not way out of touch to the point of impacting your exposure to the customers. This is a tricky balance, and we believe Michael Kors has failed in keeping it. As a luxury consumer, I'm not cutting out Michael Kors completely. Even though I no longer consider the brand as luxurious, I feel like there's still a chance for it to make a comeback. While it is possible for Michael Kors to regain its position as a leading brand, it would require strategic efforts to address the challenges it currently faces. First of all, Michael Kors could explore repositioning itself to align with current fashion trends and consumer preferences. This might involve adapting its designs to reflect more minimalistic and understated aesthetics while maintaining its signature style. Besides, the brand could focus on developing innovative products and unique offerings that set it apart from competitors. This might involve collaborations with influential designers or artists, introducing sustainable practices, or incorporating new technologies into its products. By reevaluating its distribution strategy, Michael Kors could create a sense of exclusivity and desirability for its products. This could involve reducing its presence in outlet stores, limiting discounts, and carefully selecting retail partners to maintain a premium image. The brand can leverage digital platforms and social media to engage with its target audience and create meaningful connections. Building a strong online presence, implementing effective digital marketing strategies, and fostering an engaging and interactive brand community can help revitalize interest and attract new customers. By prioritizing customer feedback and preferences, Michael Kors can ensure that its products and brand experience aligns with the evolving needs and desires of its target market. Conducting market research, Utilizing data analytics and actively listening to customer insights can inform decision-making and drive brand revitalization efforts. It is never over for a brand as long as it manages to keep its shops open. And for now, it seems like Michael Kors is doing fine in that aspect. However, we have to acknowledge the fact that the profit of the brand is keep falling, which is alarming to say the least. Back in February, Capri Holding LTD, the parent company of Michael Kors, revised its yearly profit projection and offered a pessimistic look for 2024. The company attributes this to a decline in demand for its luxury handbags and apparel from department stores. Consequently, this announcement has caused a significant drop in its stock prices, plummeting by 24%. With all things considered, things are not looking so bright for Michael Kors. However, it is clearly a must for the brand to decide whether it is a luxury brand or not so that it can come up with a marketing strategy that will save its future. Do you still consider Michael Kors a luxury brand? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.